Hello friends, my name is host Eric and I'm host talking with famous people and this video is all about the troll question. To the right of me you can see a document that articulates the specifics of the troll question. We'll give you a couple opportunities to pause the video and read through it yourself if you'd like. Before you begin doing so though, let me warn you that this video contains spoilers, explains the troll question and all the possible incarnations of it. So if you've not heard of the troll question before, or you've never heard it, you might want to hear it at the beginning of this video, which will start shortly, and uh, try answering it yourself and see how you'd go about answering it or watching the rest of the video. Talking, talking with famous people. Here's the troll question. You're the mayor of a town. It's the Middle Ages, okay? So it's like knights and horses and swords and stuff. No gunpowder, no engines. Now this town is split in two by a river. Now one half of the town is the merchant side and the other half of the town is the farm side. Farm side they got all the food, they grow it over there and they store it over there. And then in the winter, normally, you transport it across the bridge periodically to the merchant side in order to feed the merchant half of the town and the merchants transport across the bridge some goods across or whatever. Uh, unfortunately this winter, as you've got all the food stored up, a big storm hits and washed away the bridge. The nature of the weather around there is that it snows and it gets very cold, but the river is too big to actually freeze. You can't begin to think about rebuilding the bridge until the spring. Unfortunately, a troll is coming up and taking residence in your river. And the troll, anytime you cross the river and you're carrying food, and you have boats, so you can use boats to get across the river, that's not a big problem. But anytime you cross the river, food on you, like if you got a sandwich, the, the troll really quick before you even notice will run us over, take 10% of your sandwich away and run away. And you'll be like, hey, where did that 10% of my sandwich go? And the food troll will say, food troll attacks. And so this is the problem you got. Now look, here's the deal. You have enough food store to feed all the people in the town for the whole winter. But if you pay 10% tax, you won't have enough. Then you're going to be too little and some people will starve. So the question to you is, what are you going to do now about this situation? Okay, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to read the document here in the video. If you want to pause it now, you can read this first section. Now we're going to go down and get, show you the next section of the document. And you can pause the video and read it if you'd like. And let's go down to the next page. Get the last bit of it. The idea of this is, is a typing protocol, and basically it, I'm looking for how people respond, what they say, and their general bearing and attitude and engagement with the question. Certain personality types are going to find this like fish and water kind of thing. An ENTP or INTP is going to get the concept of it and dive right in. Other types are going to have more difficulty understanding what they're supposed to even do. And as you'll see here in this video, we've got clips of some people who are kind of at a complete loss. This guy called Green Hat, for example. Everyone's looking to you for an answer to this troll problem. They don't want to starve. Just fucking kill the stores, the trolls. Oh, you want to kill the troll? Okay, yeah, so how, yeah, are you, yeah. how are you going to go do that? Do you want to just... Life is that high, bro. Do you want to just charge out in high. the river by yourself with a sword and try to kill it? They kill themselves, you know? The troll does not kill himself. How do you want to kill a troll? Because right now you've decided to kill a troll. You, have you told everybody, no, okay, I want to go kill a troll by myself or what? That's, not, that's why you make walls. That's why you make walls is not an answer to what are you going to do to kill a troll? For certain kinds of people will capture their imagination as is revealed by Quest in this video here. It captured his imagination and thought about it a lot. I was watching you type this kid uh, as an INTP with I think you brought up the scenario about there's like a troll and a bridge and the farm and you have to figure out. I thought about that like super extensively. Are they questioning the narrator? Does the troll take my food? Does he just like climb onto the ship and swipe it? He's, he's got a special magic power that allows him to run up really, really fast. So fast that he gets your food and is gone before you even realize he was there. You see this sort of green flash. But he only has that ability when he's collecting his tax. Are they acting in the scenario? The troll is total feet or whatever. He has magical power. So it's not like we can fake anything. He doesn't eat food that is alive. That means that we can transport the animals from the farm to the, to the butcher or to the other side without having to give anything up. 
but then I figured, well, he's probably going to start getting uh, mad. But And then I also still had a problem, well, the f- people at the farm still need to be able to cut up their own food. So what we need to do is we need to get some butchers onto the farm side. Are they assessing within the story, like, you know, are they trying to um, utilize informational resources within the story versus the narrator being outside of the story? Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you want to go suggest to the troll that he go look for food in another place? No, I would uh, probably organize some people to do the looking. And or do they abide? Do they assume that there's nothing they can do about it? Oh, so another possibility would be to relocate, right? Um, well, yeah, I mean, you've, you've got you've got all your buildings <laughs> and, and your farms and your your families and. I mean, you're gonna even if you did try to relocate and rebuild the town up river, what would stop the troll from just moving up river? These are basic four styles of answers that people can have for this question. People who act upon the scenarios are most likely, more likely to be uh, action types either in the first or second slot. That is, say, se or any in the first or second slot. People who assess within the story are more likely to be interface types. Questioners are more likely to be ti types. Abiders. Um, most likely to be FI types. So those are little heuristics that you can use. Now, there's nothing definitive about any of these answers, but it starts to form a pretty definitive picture if you add up all the specifics over the course of, of a stretch of questions in, in a typing session. And on the other side, we can still transport uh, live animals and none of them will get taken. So in terms of what to do with the actual troll, obviously we can kill him. I mean, but um, given the circumstances, the fact that he is 12 feet tall and he has magical powers and we don't really know the full extent of his powers, the best solution could possibly be to negotiate and actually integrate him uh, within the community while simultaneously uh, we're going to be collecting uh, data from him in terms of his body. I'll send it to all of the like scientists, people and all that, and they can study and see what his potential weaknesses are. This question links in my memory very strongly to Zachary. I presented it with the split river and the troll tax and all that stuff. And he thought about it for a while. And then he said, so you move the people instead of the food, basically. So you go and get the people, bring them to the food, and then they eat. Remains, as far as I'm concerned, the most elegant answer. Almost nobody ever comes up with it. I didn't know the problem had any solution. I made up the problem on the fly. I started asking other people the question and found it to be a very useful protocol for typing people. That's the kind of the history of the question. How many people have asked this question of? At least a hundred, probably a lot more than that. Probably several hundred. Well, this one. Make fake food. And that's an interesting solution. But how, okay, but you still have to get the real food across, right? Presumably the troll can tell what's on in somebody's food because he can sneak up really fast and get it, right? So why would the troll not be able to distinguish? If why would the troll, I guess if you're assuming the troll is determining his foodiness by sight. Communication layer. How decisive is the player? I captured the troll. Well, what, how are you going to do that? You just walk right up to him and hug him, or what? Well, let's get some food. Let's make a trap. Let's lure him in. Okay, what kind and of trap? The troll The troll is in there, and he's not completely inattentive. Food. He's looking at, out at the city over there. He's watching you over there on the side of the river, looking at him. All right, all right. I make a bait. I get a ship that's got food that I'm transporting across, but next to it, I also have ships or boats or whatever with some kind of contraption to trap. I don't know how big a troll is. Maybe it's like He's a net. 12 feet tall. All right, let's get a really strong net. And All right, so like... you, you don't currently have a net big enough or strong enough to capture this troll. Do you want to get the people in the town, do you want to get the net makers to make you a net? It's going to take maybe, they say, a couple of days, even if they work really hard on it, really fast. Okay. INFPs can't figure out what the hell they want to do. I think the troll is the problem. <laughs> okay. So... so what do you plan to do about it? Find some way to get the troll to move. Because okay. right now the the troll is dependent on food I'm supplying. So if somehow I can get them to get food at another source, that would be good first. And then make it really convenient for the troll to get there. 
Okay, so you you discover a village down down the river about <laughs> twenty miles, and and you go and you offer the troll a boat ride down to that village. <laughs> okay, but they listen. We will give you a boat ride down there, and we'll give you, you know, a week supply of food. And all you got to do is go. You set up down there at that village instead of this village. The troll goes, well, I would. That's a fair, that's a fair deal, guys. That's fair. But the problem is this. That village already has a troll. I tried to set up down there earlier, and uh, he kicked me out, so i got to be up here now. Sorry. The villagers are looking to you. Mayor, what are we going to do? The troll won't move. See, one option would be to hurt the troll, which is like to eliminate them. Okay. Um, All right. I, That's I a possibility. <laughs> that is a possibility. I'm not sure about using violence. ISFPs, ESFPs have trouble as well because they're using F5 as a tool function if you're an ESFP. If you need to know how you actually feel authentically about something and it's just a story where you don't really feel anything, it's hard to know what you you got to do, right? How do you want to try to kill the troll? You don't have any cards. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to charge him with boats with with lances or something? We could do it. We're gonna lose like ten guys, maybe. It's better than hundred people starving. What do you want to do, boss? I find it very interesting in on multiple levels. I find it interesting as as an instance of a collaborative creative process. So kill the troll, move the food, um, test the troll's limits by expanding out with multiple foes. And then what you do is in the ideal solution of that, you say, okay, we've discovered that the troll can only get 50 of us if we all cross concurrently. He can only get 50 of us. He's not as fast as the speed of light. We want to put 50 people from the troll outward, 25 in each direction, with one crumb each of food. And then in case we miscalculate a little bit, have the next people with small amounts of food as well. And as you get further out, you have the people have large amounts of food. Because you know the troll is definitely not going to get them. And then you move everybody across concurrently. And that way, the troll gets 10% of almost nothing, and you get 100% of almost everything across. And then lastly, in the experience layer, layer there are certain types that like this kind of game. Like I said, uh, ENTPs, INTPs, they like this a lot, and they take to it really naturally. And other types, they don't like it, and they don't see the point of it. Like an ISFP, Kimberly doesn't like it either, ISFJ. What the fuck you, want? <laughs> you put up a sign that says win win negotiation. What do you want? And he puts up a sign in the middle of a river that says 10% of your food. <laughs> fuck you, you keep dying here. But he keeps taking it. Every time you get the food going across in the boat, he kill takes him. it. You kill him. So how are you going to kill him? You don't even have to put a sign, you just put a sign and kill him at the same time. So if that's the case, they seem like a fish in water or out of water is a question to determine certain qualities. Again, nothing about this is, question is definitive, but it's a good way to engage your observations of a person's thinking processes, priorities, values, and other things in this multi-layer approach of uh, analyzing the answers. So let's say you, you successfully pull this off, that you get your villagers on two, two sides of the river going down the boats, and then you add the net spread between you and you wrap up the troll in the net and you got them all tied up. Now what are you going to do with them? Is the 10% tax for food necessary for the troll to live or is it just like, because he wants 10%? Do you want to ask him? Yeah, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> He's like, well, look, that's just the nature of my magic. I if I could restrain the troll. You got him restrained. He's all tied up. But, but now what are you going to do? Keep him in a cage or something for the rest of the winter? And where do the players' concerns lie? Are they with the people who are going to starve? Are they with the problem? Like, how am I going to solve this? Or if, if you try to move the live animals, that does work. And you successfully get all of your protein across the river without causing any, uh, any problems. The troll doesn't get mad and try to attack you or anything. But you'll still have too little food, ultimately, by a little bit. And some people will still starve because of the grain you end up losing. 
So the, the thing is though, but I was considering like the troll probably isn't uh, like probably b isn't basing what he wants off of like some sort of reason. So he may see yeah, like no. he may you eventually what be like are? what. So if if for example you try to poison the food, it doesn't do you any good because he's not eating the food himself. He actually sends it down river to the troll food exchange for troll dollars. Okay, so there's there's that reality. So you can't what? poison him successfully, <laughs> and, and he's not eating the food. I don't remember that being a part well, of it. That's but because okay. you didn't get there. The point is, it's a story. It's a story problem that unfolds if you do certain things. I have certain prepared responses. So I'm filling you in on the parts of the story mm. you you haven't accessed on your own. You you can get the yeah. next town over to come and and help you kill him if you try. That's possible to do. Um, but you still have to come up with a military plan to kill him. And uh, it's not impossible to do so, but it, it, if you basically, if you set up a bunch of catapults and shit in hiding and wait for him to go to sleep and you keep track of him all day, then you can bombard him all of a sudden once at night and kill him. That's one way to kill him. But most people don't ever successfully kill him or deal with the problem entirely at all. So the vast, I mean, I've probably told this, this problem to a hundred different people. I would, I would say that's a fair guesstimate. A hundred? I mean, no one more. else could. Maybe, maybe a lot more. I don't know. Hmm. I can't even count the number of people I've talked to and typed and told and done questions with and stuff. Like it just on a random day, like just like this right now. I've been doing this for, I don't know, four years or something. Now this one intrigues me a lot. Put the rotten food on top and put the good food on the bottom. Trolls. Talking about trolls. Yeah. Trolls are fucking not, not good things. Trolls are fucking trolls. Right. Trolls are fucking noobs. So what are you going to do about it? How are you going to kill them? Run them over? Have a sign. You have, you have like five decisions to do at the same time. Do them now. Now, testing the trolls' limits occurs on multiple vectors. We've also had Mega Bro is one who suggested catapulting it over. We've had that suggestion a couple of times. That it, it, how high can the troll jump? You know, can you catapult the food over? First, the first idea just says, look, why don't we just put all the bad food on top and the, the parts that we really want to eat. And make sure he takes all the parts we don't actually, we're going to just toss aside anyway, like this is scraps. So if we have a bunch of ears of corn, make it so that the troll somehow takes only the, the, what's that called? Inedibles. Yeah, but, but the uh, husk. So ideally, we'd like to have a low hassle solution. We don't want to have this troll impacting our behavior over the long term. And I think that that's the one, that's the one deficit of the move the people solution. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do then if there's a troll tax. Right, yeah. pay tax. Mm. Some people just, like, draw a blank. Some people are, like, just right away they say, well, let's go kill him. Let's be the thumbnail for this video. Thumbnail. Kill the troll. <laughs> Some people don't want to kill him or don't think it's appropriate to kill him. They view the troll as an unstable element and that we could either utilize him. Um, a lot of people say, well... I'm gonna go negotiate with him and then they get frustrated because he's not he's not a very cooperative negotiator, although he will give a little bit of ground. Fair okay, so um we're making a deal with you since you're tall and you're strong, obviously that's yeah. why you can survive in the water and like fight. Watch my shins, don't forget my yeah. shins. So um we invite you to come up over to the farm side. To okay. the farm side, because you're tall, you probably you can you can work hard. Like it's like one acre. Like let's say that. I'm already hard. working hard. Do you want to be as best okay. with the sharks? We we will be fighting the sharks, but like we want you to. I help don't trust us. you guys. You guys can't We want you to the help sharks. us. We or we have to. We if he becomes if there's a potential that he's going to become too unstable, we have to get rid of him. If you were to actually managed to get around him being able to take food from you for very long he would go away and you'd win um, oh i didn't know that well of course nobody knows that because if i told him that up front then it wouldn't be revelatory of watching them solve the problems do we have any past experience dealing with trolls uh no this is your first troll do we know anything about trolls 
Well, you know that he's 12 feet tall. You know that he's got very thick skin. He's got little jabby, pokey things coming out of it. So he's got kind of like a natural armor on him. He's got big, big, big fists that are even outsized for his 12 foot tall body. And he's got a big club. It's a big metal, uh, wooden club with some metal spikes coming out of it. Quiet most of the time. He'll he'll sometimes say, "Hey, how's it going?" to you when you walk for, to people when they walk past the side of the river. But he's in the middle of the river. And it's a wide river, so uh, you know he can't really be heard that well unless he bellows. Okay. Well, I don't like this troll. I poisoned the food. Which of the kids offered the solution of going out in the woods and hunting, like before we established the winter thing? Yeah, I think Edmund suggested that. And the thing is, you can hunt for some of your food, but in a, in a very early incarnation of this, I said, well, if you do that, you basically destroy the the game ecosystem in your part of the your part of the world of the earth, so that you know historically your community has relied on being able to hunt a little bit, and you have sensible restrictions on hunting, and and if you choose to uh, to do that, then you'll destroy your ability to hunt in the future. Run him Time's over. Two in the <laughs> okay. <laughs> Times thirty-five. You know, keep going. Okay. Get I agree. You're right. That those are the best possible solutions. Oh, yeah. it doesn't. These troll services don't come for free, you know. All right. What is, what what services do you offer? Well, I keep away the dragons, the ogres. I keep away uh, large catfish. I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but just village down the river there, they lost 40 people last year to large catfish. They jumped up out of the water, they swallowed them whole and just swam away. The way you thought about the troll is very TE focused. A TI user is likely to try to, to pin the, a strong TI user is likely to try to pin the narrator down on definitional stuff so that he can work with words to solve the problem. A TE user is likely to analyze it as though it were a real problem, as you did, and say, okay, well, this is an unstable element, and my interest lies with the preservation of the community, and we can't tolerate this uncertainty here. So let's eliminate it. Well, I would find out what he needs to survive. He says, I need to stand in the river and steal food from people. Does he need to be in the river? Right. <laughs> I don't know. That's what he's telling you. Should you believe him or not? He's currently engaged in stealing 10% of your food. I don't know why you have so much compassion for this troll. But I appreciate <laughs> the fact that you do. Probably put it. I treat it almost like a debate. Well, it depends on what the narrator says. I hold him to having said that and then exploit that element of language to my advantage. Rather than really treat it like a real problem. You know? I keep those away. In fact, that's what I eat. I eat those large catfish. Why do you eat our supplies? Oh, I, I don't. I don't eat your food that you sit across. I take ten percent of it as a tax, which I then ship down river to the troll, uh, to the troll exchange, which is like a stock market kind of a thing for trolls. And uh, later at the end of the year, I'll go collect my earnings in in troll money. Okay. I don't think your services are worth 10% of our goods. Well, fortunately, you're not the one who decides that. <laughs> I brought all the people with me. We try to kill them. Oh, uh, you're going to kill them. All right, so how do you want it? He sees you gathering up on the side of the banks. There are some men and stuff. He's like, hey, 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 now, hey, now. What do you guys, gonna th what do you guys think you're going to do? Attack me from boats? You're crazy. I'll kill you all. I'll smash your boats. I'll smash all your boats. I'll smash all your heads. You got no chance here, guys. Stay away. Now your troops are starting to get a little grumbly. They're like, I don't want to charge this guy. I mean, he's right. What are we going to do, sail at him with lances or what? All right, you said he only has these speed capabilities outside the water, yeah? He only has the speed capabilities when it comes to collecting the tax. Okay. Our What's weird is nobody says, let's go fishing in this river. Almost That's nobody true. says it. I guess everyone just assumes the troll has him like he he devours most of the fish but and then i have to try to see whether or not i even know how to deal with that problem in general okay well yeah te is an interested calculus you need to understand how you link to the problem you don't want to treat it as mm -hmm. as a definitional cl cluster 
you want to treat it as an actual problem. To make it an actual problem, you have to have an interest in the problem, like an actual, be an interested party. I need to fix this doorknob because it's on my house, for example. I don't need to fix that doorknob because it's not on my house. Are we at the point where we have gunpowder or some form of no, explosive? There's no, gun, there's no gunpowder. Damn it. Okay. But you do have fire. Wow. Okay. Is it scared of fire? Well, I don't know. It's in the middle of a river. There's not any fire nearby it. All right, let's test it out. Every time, next time we take a shipment across, let's get a bonfire or some sort of fire going. Okay. Maybe surround the goods. Okay, so you get in the middle of the river and your boat burns down and you you are oh, no. around. Say, help, help! And the troll grabs you and puts you off to the shore. There you go, guys. Sorry, you were almost about to drown. See all the services I provide. You burn down your own boat, and I gotta save you guys. I feel like this is rigged because you wouldn't set up a fire in such a sense that it would burn down your boat. Hey, it got out of hand. You weren't on the boat yourself. You delegated the task and your underlings were sloppy. Hmm. All right. So we've got a troll. He doesn't seem intent on harming us, yet he's still taking 10% of our goods. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. why are merchants on one side of the, of the river? Well, because that's just how your city grew up. It was like there was some. It was originally a farming community, but when um, the the it got big enough to have a uh, center of government, they they put that on the other side of the river, and then all the uh, merchant stuff grew up around there. And it's not good for for farming over there because it's got a rocky uh, lo, uh, high to the surface bedrock level, so you can't really dig. Okay. So, so far, you, you, you've, been, you've been a week so far, by the way. You've been a week with, with just exploring these various options. And you've already cost your whole community probably one starvation death with all of your delays. The, the people are getting restless. We've got to do something, Mayor, for God's sake. All right. I get all my homies and the people capable, and we're going to hunt the troll in the water. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So you got this flotilla of boats coming down the river. Everybody's got lances and and uh, flaming no, torches. No. You can't fight it above. Actually, maybe you can. It's not going to come to us. You got to go in the water. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you got to start above it in boats and float down to it, or try to attack it from the shore or something. I don't know. How big is the river? It's it's too wide for you to have any kind of long pole stab him. You got you'd have to shoot arrows or something. It doesn't look like he's going to be very susceptible to arrows, though, because he's got super thick skin. He's got super thick, pointy skin. My doorknob is different than that doorknob, and even though doorknobs are sort of standardized, it's, this is not necessarily going to be a standard experience. Oh, shit, this screw is stripped. Oh, God, this door is weirdly shaped, and why is it like this? And, oh, my God, who put this in? And all of a sudden, you got this big problem in front of you, right? That's a TE reality. That's when you a TE person goes to the doorknob problem, not assuming it's going to follow a bunch of generalized shit, but actually experiencing the personal link to the problem and the moment and the thing. So going and looking at it and saying, okay, well, this doorknob is like this. And that's why I'm going to approach it this way. Not just bringing the normal tools, realizing this doorknob doesn't really work with these tools, but trying to force these tools to work anyway because they're the ones you expected to, to work. That's fucking NTP shit. That's what I do. That's stupid shit. I think we should mention some of the solutions that also we kind of neglect to do that. Um, so most people decide on killing the troll. Okay. Let's try to poison the food the catfish eats. What is a catfish? Catfish is a bottom feeder, yeah? <laughs> what, you gonna poison the bottom of the river? <laughs> I would try to get him to um, restrain him. Put him in some sort of chained area. <laughs> yeah, you got him in the troll zoo now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I would also be like, he goes, oh, I'm dying! I need to be in the river stealing your food! Oh! oh. I don't know. Let's drop some corpses down there that have poison in them. And when the catfish eat them, presumably the larger ones get more because they're large, and they probably have some evolutionary advantage over the other ones. It's okay, so like two days after you do this plan, I don't know where you get the corpses from, but um, 
pretty close to you. He's getting closer, and he's he's moaning and groaning. Now he's got his feet on the ground. He's he's sort of stumbling towards you guys. Help me! I, I think I've died. I need some help. And and famous person Tippy here is engaged in a moral conundrum over what to do with this troll. <laughs> so maybe he can like go to the river at certain hours. <laughs> You periodically, like once a day, you take him to the river, and then you you float, you stand him in the river inside of some sort of cage, and then you you float past him with a boat with some food in it so he can steal 10% of it. The most physically capable man in my village, uh, I being the monarch, uh, and the only one who has true divine revelation, I have to be the fact, I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't be getting damaged here. So... I'll be getting the most physically capable men. They'll be going in front of me. It'll be going in layers, right? So right before me will be the the most capable. And then <laughs> up until we'll have like some kids. If there's some like degenerate kids or some shit, like they're just going, go first. They're being generally a nuisance <laughs> to the villagers. They will go first. Those are you teeing them? Are you teeing them or what? <laughs> yeah. Those who survive, of the, those kids who survive, so the kids go first. They're rowdy little fucking brats, right? And if they survive, then they are instantly promoted to a high position within our military, right? And then they will grow and, and uh, develop that way. Um, but we will go out. Uh, we'll have... Um, Okay, Joe Smith, listen, you got a problem, though. You get your band of, of merry men together there, and you're about <laughs> to charge on the troll, and what do you find? You find all the, the wives on the on the banks of the river, and they're holding up signs. They're protesting you're killing the troll. They say you can't kill the troll, that the troll is an endangered species. Uh, ignore their opinions. They, they say, we won't sleep, let you sleep with us anymore, and... Like half of your army all of a sudden starts muttering. Good, because sexual re uh, repression actually uh, helps civilizations uh, pro pro progress. Actually, now uh, three quarters, of now three quarters of your army is muttering, and they're they're sharpening their weapons and they're looking at you. Um, what's what going on? Boss, says one of the degenerate kids you put in the front. What's going on? We still gonna fight the troll. Oh yeah, well we're gonna fight the troll. Yeah, so we I, I assume we already did that after ignoring their the. No, you didn't people. ignore them because they before you could as you were ignoring them they made it clear to their respective husbands that that they were gonna take this seriously and that they weren't going to um, allow their husbands to touch them anymore. And now you've got three quarters of your army. The assumption that my militant men, these these masculine like bronze gods, are pussy whipped. Well, that's the only way they are whipped, right? Nobody else can stand up to these tough guys except for their women. I see. I see. Um, I still say fuck it, like. We'll be, we'll, we'll be going for the troll. Okay, you know important. what? They, they, they launch a coup. They years. launch a coup and they kill you. The end. What's the consequences of us not, of the village not giving him the food? There's no consequence to the villagers. There may be consequences to the troll, but you're not sure yet if you should believe him. He's telling you all sorts of things. He's saying, like, oh, if I don't steal 10% of your food, I will, I will die. If I don't have to steal it in the river, too, and you have to let me go free to steal it, or else I'll die. Because he's determined that you're very soft-hearted, so he's trying to milk that, you know? I guess then I would get, like, a report from, the, like, other neighboring villages on how they're <laughs> <laughs> dealing with the troll and whether... Um, All right, so you said you send down a courier to the neighboring village 20, 20, uh, 20 miles down the village, and they send back up some guys, and they, they're carrying with them a big bag, and they put it up, they pour it out on the ground. There's the head of their troll. That's how they dealt with their troll. They said, we'd be happy to dispatch you of yours if you'd like. <laughs> do, do you want them to kill your troll now, or do you still want to preserve your troll's, your, your difficult situation? I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, I, I do not want to be... Had the troll. You do not uh, want to. Okay. Talking, talking with famous people. Archers? Yeah, best archers take shots at the face. Ah, oh, he poked him in both eyes. Now he's blind. And he's, 
And he's writhing on the ground in pain, screaming in agony. What do you do? Is he bleeding out? Well, you don't know if he's going to die or not, but he's making a lot of ruckus. Do you put him out of his misery or not? If I could do so safely, yeah. All right. I mean, the whole point was to kill him. Yeah, you got a dead troll now.